everybody and welcome back to Diablo and I'm feeling poorly <laughs> like proper shit here that's why I didn't come on yesterday I still feel awful and I'm all bunged up so you have to listen to me moaning and groaning there what's that noise? what's that noise? well hopefully the microphone's sorted now anyway oh god it looks god it looks beautiful uh, we got loads of shit. Right, let's go through this lot. Hello, how are you doing, Mr. Chunk here? Yeah, I got a really, I, I very rarely get colds, mate, and I tell you what, oh, good lord. You're proper nasty, mate. If I start coughing, I'll have to come off because you don't want to be listening to that. Oh, that looks nice. Well, that's very nice. Oh, 12% movement speed. That. Ah! Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm really having a lot of luck with gear, am I? Six, eight, five. Two. I forgot how good this bloody looks, man. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Um. Oh yeah. Anyway, how you been doing, Chunky? What you been up to, mate? I think I want to keep that all that earthquake damage. I quite fancy trying an earthquake build, but then no, ah, sod it. Hey, Mister, I got some new things. You should take a look. Some new things. More fury. Right, let's move there. Let's just, move, let's just salvage all of this. Is the sound really loud again, Chunker? Uh, I know it's, I think I will turn the voice down a bit. Maybe until we get to uh Is that Act five or Act Four that's new? I think I've been saying Act Four is a new one. I'm not convinced it's not Act Five actually. You haven't felt too hot last couple of days yourself. What's been up mate? I just started yesterday. I mean it was only around oh I can't think what time oh look at that little kid look. Oh hello mate. Um, yeah, in the space of about two hours, I went from feeling absolutely fine to feeling pretty shitty, source. to be honest. Mm. I, think I need fury. Fire. Yeah, I've got a lot of my sinuses are all, uh, like, proper bursting, man. I didn't even play a single game yesterday, which is, like, unheard of. How did of. this all there's little I can do. Between my advisors and the Imperial Guard, my every move and action are controlled. I've tried to fight back, but Bilal's influence is strong. But now you've given me a chance. Perhaps my only chance. Actually, I'm just going to check. So isn't Diablo 3 UEE edition actually on Twitch? Because I think I'm still... I wonder if there's a UEE on Twitch. I don't know whether I'm advertising our stream in the right place, to be honest. Hmm, not sure. Alright, anyway. How can you aid me? You're here to kill Belial, aren't you? I am. I can help. You're a child. I can still fight in my own way. I want my empire back. I will find where Belial is hiding and deliver him to you. Why should I trust you? You tried to kill us. I told you, it was not my choice. My every move is controlled, and I am surrounded by enemies. But I swear to you, I will help you. I will prove it to you. You don't know what's wrong with you? Just a general a malaise, I guess. The doctor told me last week that you're anemic. Is that, that's uh, low iron, isn't it, right? Isn't that quite easily solved? I suppose you've got to ask yourself why you do it, haven't you? Not enough fury. I've forgotten my build now. Can't remember what I'm doing. 
Oh, me. <laughs> Is it loud, Chunky? It, so it sounds very loud, my own mate. It still sounds too loud. Oh, that's some weird sound design, isn't it? It's like uh, I should—I'm trying to think what it'd be like if you were playing it on max volume. Bloody hell! Bloody death! I think I might switch to the Templar actually. I'm, I'm not enjoying the uh, the Enchantress as much as I enjoyed having I mean, the Templar tagging along. He was quite a funny guy. That's a good one, Whee! 55. Ding, 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 ding. It's a low red blood cell count. Oh, what am I thinking of then, mate? Can be caused by low iron or low B vitamins, internal bleed. Oh, God. <laughs> it's me thinking it's like a vitamin pill, Chunky, and there's you say, like internal bleeding and things. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that, mate. That'd be awful, wouldn't it? Got a new phone this week. Can't understand it. <laughs> I got a clue what I'm doing with it. It is so beautiful. Right, let's. Uh... I watched the Destiny official release trailer yesterday. God, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to pick up uh, Metro Redux as well on the PlayStation 4. I've actually already pre-ordered it. Uh, Chunky, let me know if you can't hear me on the stream, mate. You can be our official sound technician again. Um, yeah, so I bought Metro Redux, like, the day it was announced on Steam. And I think I'm going to pick it up on PlayStation 4 as well. I really fancy sticking with the PS4 for a bit. Oh! You just gobbed on the you floor, you dirty fool. animal. You think you can save this man? You have sealed your fate. Such insolence must be punished. Oh. I didn't see you, mate. Yeah, it's not, I must admit, like, I, I mean, you sort of know me for a while, Chunky, it's very rare I, uh, kind of start feeling crappy, but this hit me like a ton of bricks yesterday, Thank honestly. You. Thank you. Those vile creatures were looting my goods. Now that you have saved me, I'd be happy to allow you the privilege of buying them instead. Let's have a look then, mate. Let's have a look. Uh... I mean, it's got to be the effects volume, hasn't it? Let's try that. I mean, we can't take it any lower than 10%. <laughs> it... Is that a bit better? Seems ludicrous that a game you've got to drop the sound down to 10%. Stop it being kind of overwhelming. Good lord. Not enough fury. Better chunky, ah, oh, nice one, mate. Cheers. To be honest, I'm, I'm quite enjoying that. That was my head's pounding as it is, and that was. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd have been on for long with that volume. I got to admit. Mute the headset or something. I need fury. What am I actually doing? Enter the Forgotten Ruins. 
He fall off in range. Yeah, I've not, I'm really looking forward to Metro. I think that would be a nice game to play through on, say, like a Sunday afternoon. It's a bank holiday weekend here. I think we're off out and about for most of it though, so it, I thought it'd be an opportunity to get a load of streaming in, but uh, we'll have to see how it goes, to be honest. You been playing anything, Chunker? This portal will lead me to the head of Zoltan Kuhl. Yeah, we don't have to sort of adjust it that much on the PlayStation 3 version there, Chunky. It's almost as if uh, the sound design's gone like, to a whole what other you? level. I mean, don't be wrong, I actually like, really like the ish bash bosh um, noises, just not today. <laughs> My ears are going to start bleeding. My eyes are watering, that's how bad it is today. Sinuses are like, ah! Still recharging. Against my blows. Not enough fury. Wonder what starts a killing spree. It's not just a, mm, I don't know. The ancient smile on. You were looking at what? Invisible ink on Steam. You're a bit surprised to see that you had purchased it. What? I haven't bought invisible ink, mate. Well, I don't even know what invisible ink is, dude. Oh, it might, someone maybe sent it me as a gift or something. Like invisible ink. Oh, Kathos, guide my hand. I've not bought any early access, dude. Definitely not. Like, so I don't even know what the game is, dude. <laughs> so that's a, that's a mystery to me as much as it is to you, then. Invisible ink. More fury. Oh god, well I'm gonna have to go and get a tissue in a minute. How are the uh ends and chicky getting on with their hardcore characters, mate? I've not had a chance to jump on. It says you already own the game, it's a new one from the makers of Don't Star. Oh god knows then mate. Someone must have gifted me a copper. I'll have a look in a bit. Die. From the makers of Don't Star. I, I didn't even know they were making another game, mate. Oh, that, oh, that sounds interesting, then. Wonder what sort of game it is. Oh, I got my internet sorted, you know. Oh, I do you know anything that you know about ICT stuff, don't you, mate? I am. Um, in fact, I need to check. On eBay, I bought myself some very, and I do mean very expensive Cat 7 cables. And uh, I was using some like pretty bog standard Cat 5 cables um, when I first came in here. Because a lot of my cables were basically all packed up in a box and I could for the life of me we couldn't locate the box that got like all the bloody charges and adapters in it. It's like catastrophic. 
Um, so obviously the stuff that we needed desperately, we've had to go out and rebuy. So anyway, I've got some cheap Cat5 cables. I've got that um, the, the Virgin Media installed my broadband internet. Blah, blah, blah. Um, everything was on. I was actually on 150 meg download. Um, and around the 12 to 15 upload, whatever it was anyway. I bought myself some very expensive Cat7 cables. Plugged them in. I never made the connection. Because obviously I didn't notice a speed drop. Because I mean, I don't really use my download, you know? I just noticed things weren't quite as responsive. You know, but I don't like torrent or anything like that. So I don't really notice the difference. Um, but obviously I did. So I, I didn't make the connection. I got a slow speed until about four or five days after I'd installed the Cat7 cables. So... Anyway, I had the Virgin guys out, it got escalated to their top tier bloody support tech, blah 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 blah. I need to and um, anyway, they came out, they couldn't solve it, they were testing it, everything looked fine, couldn't figure it out. And then we just decided to test it on a standalone laptop no, with, a, with a cat no, cable that he happened to have in his bag. Bang, 160 meg download. It's like 10 meg on top of what we should be having anyway. Took the Cat7 cables out, stuck in some bloody ancient things he'd got in his bag. Bish bash bosh, 160 meg download on everything. Yes. So why the fuck, right, with a Cat7 cable that cost me an extortionate amount of money, because I bought three of the bloody things, a 3 meter one, a 2 meter one, and a 1 meter one, have such shitty fucking speeds? I'm absolutely pissed. It is time. Leah, cast the spell as I taught you. I thought Cat 7 was supposed to be like significantly better than Cat 5. I live again. Zoltan, I am. Uh, I will give you the I'm going to go with you. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag. <laughs> I'll put him in your bag. <laughs> it's so cool. Right, oh, I've just got to drink my coffee, man. Actually, You're an interesting I one, feel a bit bad, to be honest. I wonder if your friends know what you truly are. What are you babbling about? Oh, oh God, that is so nice. In time. That reminds me of when I was uh, a wee lad and poorly, and my mom would bring me like uh, a hot cup of um, tomato soup. Oh, God, that's delicious. I shall go and make me another one soon. <coughs> right, where are we off to? Um, enter the ancient waterway. That's at the top, isn't it? I need fury. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, I've sent, uh one of the uh, complain about the product messages kind of things on eBay, but I have a feeling whoever's done it is just going to have every excuse under the sun why uh, why they're not going to be liable for it or what have you. Hang on, what's this here? I'm getting confused there. You don't think there's a Cat 7 standard? I mean, what the Virgin Tech was basically saying was that um, the cables, I mean, he tested it. The, the cables seem to be capped, uh, if you like. Well, I suppose that cap's probably the wrong word, but put it this way. They do not transfer data any faster than 30 meg. So, like I said, the second we put another, like, cheap ass Cat 5 cable in. Bish bash bosh. Are you telling me that a Cat 7 cable could be perfectly legal in terms of um, advertising it as a Cat 7? Even though it might only cap out at 30 meg download. 
Which, like you say, I don't, I've only ever bought Cat 5s and 6s in, in, like, ever. But then I, I didn't even know there was a Cat 7, to be quite honest. <laughs> it's just, you know, when you start looking for new cables, you, you suddenly find out, oh, look, there's a new one. I'll get that then, because it must be better. And clearly that was not the case. Well, yeah, I know that, Chunky. It's that, well, that wasn't the reason I bought it. The reason I actually bought these cables is that they're really nicely braided and um, got, in theory, some sort of gold plate and contacts and all the rest of that jazz. So, you know, I thought, the way I've got the room set up, um, you can sort of see. The, the new router I've got is really nice. So rather than having it tucked away, I kind of have it, not on display, but it's kind of tucked around the side of the main gaming rig because all the blue lights and everything all kind of look nice together. And uh, I thought I'd get all black cables. See, what I used to have was colour-coded cables for the different machines. So, for example, I'd have a blue one for the PS4, I'd got a yellow one for the uh, PlayStation 3. So if I ever needed to unplug anything for a reason, I always knew exactly what it was, but I thought I'd just go all black. So, like I said, I ended up on a... Uh, eBay and thought, well, I'll just get myself some new Cat 5s. I thought, oh, well, hang on. Might as well get some Cat 6s. And then I spotted there were Cat 7s. So I thought, well, why not? Well, that's what I thought, Chunky, but yeah, that, that, that's exactly what I thought to start with. But then I started to self-doubt that uh, diagnosis, to be honest. Because, bear in mind, I've got a 3-metre cable, a 2-metre cable, and a 1-metre cable, all separate. But all of them max out at 30 meg download. Now, like you say, if it had been one cable, I'd be saying, well, there's obviously a problem with it. Um, you know, a braid or something in there has snapped and what, for whatever reason, that, that means I'm, I'm capped out of that. But for three cables, all to have the same defect, that just sounds unlikely to me. But if what you're saying is true, and I have no reason to doubt you, that there's no standard for Cat 7, then uh, I'm kind of shit out of luck then, aren't I? Because they could just turn around and say, well, yeah, they work. They just only work at 30. Not ready yet. <laughs> oh, come on. I can't believe you can't jump down there. That sucks. Monkey balls, man. Cables are rated for frequency bandwidth, not bits per second. Cat 6 is better shielded than Cat 5. There is also internal shielding between... Yes! Yeah, that's what I read on the sales pitch for the Cat 7, mate. I thought that would be ideal. Even though it's only over a short distance, I thought, well, you know, get the best of the best. You reckon they've actually been... So you reckon whoever's made the cables actually made them wrong? Is that, is that something they could do then? Yeah. I'm really pissed because the cables here. themselves are absolutely awesome. They're really nice and braided cables. They're so chunky. Ah, get it. Chunky. Chunky, chunky. <laughs> If I thought I had any open rewiring, I might do it, mate. But uh, I'll wait to see what they say. But no doubt, no in eBay, they'll just tell me to piss off. Thank you for saving me. Pretty gutted, though. Pretty gutted, mate. I've just gone back to my old, uh, my old cables. We've since found the box. So I've just gone back to the old ones. Get 160 meg download. I've tested that three different times a day over the last sort of like couple of days. Never drops a fucking heartbeat below 160. Did you ever um, do any looking around? I tried to do a bit of googling myself, mate, about the fact that Twitch no longer has the high low medium qualities on right click in the video preview window it just seems to have vanished I don't know if you were here because I think Ben and a few others said that they noticed that had gone as well so I thought I'd try and find out what, what that was all about but uh, I've not been able to find anything you cannot stand before me 
There are four twisted pairs inside a cable. The transmit plus and negative and a pair are a pair and the receive plus and negative are a pair if they're wired correctly. If they did it wrong, then the plus and minus data and return ground aren't a twisted pair and that can kill performance. Oh, right. Ooh, I like it, Chunky. I like it when things are explained to me. More fuel. Would that explain why my upload speed was fine then? Because the tra what you're saying is the transmit cables presumably wired correctly. Because my no matter which cable we use, we got anywhere between 12 and 14 upload. So maybe it, it would I be correct in assuming my Cat 7 cables have a positive and negative transmit, which is correct, but a positive and negative. Um, receive, which is fuckered. Hello, Rayares. How you doing? Yeah, Chunky's uh, very wise, aren't you, mate? Very wise. <laughs> oh, and hi, by the way. Are you alright, Rayares? I've got a cold, mate. I want sympathy. <laughs> Oh, dude, I do. I feel absolutely terrible. I've got to go and get myself a. Uh... Still recharging. Oh, I've got to hit 40. Oh no, I'm still going. Oh, oh come on. 52 kills there. That's awesome. Oh, I'm not going to get anyone. Come on, quick, go. Nah, 55 got it. Not ready yet. So what does a network administrator actually do? Do you actually go and install network? Or do you just simply manage them? And what is the to manage? Hmm. I suppose it depends on who you're working for. Hmm. It's one of those intriguing job titles that I suppose unless you do it, you've got no idea what it really encompasses. Taking a break from Skyrim. Oh, I didn't know you were playing Skyrim, Rares. You got a super modded version. I was watching old poorly play plays uh, last night, actually, for a little bit. He's doing like a sort of role play walkthrough on Skyrim. It's quite good. Yes, could be that one pair was wiring correctly and the other wasn't. There are different wiring patterns for different purposes. You may have gotten one with an odd wiring standard. Yeah. So it's interesting, so maybe the cables themselves are actually perfectly legit. I mean, the, uh, the cable itself has got a certification on it. So, I don't know whether that means anything, but what I did notice is that some of the old Cat5 cables that I've had kicking around, because obviously when I found the uh, the cable box, I've got cables dating back like years, because I very rarely throw cables away. You never know when that ancient, old, defunct, no longer works on anything cable suddenly finds a use. You no, know, like on the old SNES or something. And uh, understand his theories. And uh, I did notice that some of the, some cables seem to have like uh, certified stamped on them, and other cables didn't have certified on them. So uh, don't really know how legit sort of that is monitored. Uh. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought of IRS to be honest. It might just be something they stick on it, you know, anyone can slap certified on it. That's why I wonder whether there was some sort of British standard and even then when you buy some off eBay you ain't got a clue, have you? You never cease 
Network administ administrators spend most of their time working on firewalls and switches and routers and such. I've also designed and specified all the network wiring from new offices twice when my employer moved. That sounds quite intriguing, that chunker. Sounds like a pretty cool job. You know, a certain amount of uh, sort of autonomy over it. I kind of like the sound of that, mate. So, what's the problem with work then, Chunky? Is it just really hard to get into that kind of thing? So, a lot of unemployment or Need more time. what have you in the area where you kind of were living? I'm assuming you've not moved yet, mate. It sounds like one of those jobs where, I mean, I don't know what it's like. Oh, wow, look at the grass. It all moves. Oh, that's cool. Never really noticed that. <laughs> Excellent. The network administrator is often also the telephone administrator, especially now that everything's gone to... Oh right, what is, what is VOIP? What's it stand for? Not ready yet. We're going to have an education. Chunky educates Grum on networks today. <laughs> I suppose when you think about it, all this stuff as well, all this network, networking, and the whole, not just the software side, but the whole hardware side of it, it's all, when you think about it, relatively new, isn't it? I mean, the old ability, well, the entire ability to do any of this, it's not been around that long, really, when you think about it, has it? And the internet itself is not exactly, you know, ancient technology by any means, is it? And I remember sort of uh, the old, the old dingle dongle modems <laughs> and my very expensive BT phone bills. I can open this gate for you. Teleinformation technology. Yeah, in the UK, everything tends to be stamped with ICT, information communication technology. Hello, chick. Chick, I'm poorly. Sympathy, please. <laughs> I will fight. I like this. I've always liked the uh, Western and Eastern channels. Oh, Voice over IP. Oh, is that? Oh, right. Well, I think I probably knew that then. Which just means that the voice is transmitted as data packets over a TCP IP network. So the phone is basically a computer. It's got its own IP address and talks to the company's PBX over the data network. Ah, right. Got you, mate. Ah, right. That makes sense. Yeah, I can understand that. The more I realise that even I took his wisdom for granted. Oh, I've got a horrible cold chicka. Really, really, like, proper man flu shit. In fact, you know what? I've, I've got to go for a minute, guys. If I don't wipe my nose, it's all going to trickle down. Trickle down into the grumble goatee. I'll be back in a minute, folks. Searching for lost artifacts with Uncle Deckard, even though it did have its dangerous side. I can't tell you how many times I had to drag him away from an army of skeletons because he was fixated on some dusty old tapestry.
waited 1500 years for this. Should I return to my slumber? Our enemies mean to slow our advance. It will not work. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, Grum had a leak. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I do feel crappy. I feel I can't not come on. I'll be, I'll be inundated with fucking hate mail again. Oh, Jesus, good lord. How you doing then, check out what you've been up to, mate. How's the job going? You've been promoted to manager yet? Any a matter of time, mate. Making steady but sure progress towards 60. I'm not in the mood for doing anything crazy today. We'll take it easy, relax, sit back, drink my coffee. Chill out with you guys. Look forward to Metro Redux, which will fill in a little bit of a gap. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. So right, my uh, phone was going. The home phone. We've still got that very annoying Simpsons theme tune, which I really wish you would change. I've not watched the Simpsons for years, man. Oh, oh, oh. There's a job waiting for you at £11 an hour. That sounds awesome. Where and what's that doing then, Chica? Is that better than what you're on, is it? When you say there's a job waiting for you, am I inferring from that that you're not taking it for some reason? What's that doing, Chica? Ooh, is that a little spiral over his head then? What's that? Oh, look! Treasure! Are they not supposed to be called treasure goblins? Since when are they called treasure bandits? I think we are a little bit overpowered here, aren't we? I really should not the difficulty up. Right, your ass has been playing uh, Skyrim Chicken. What game are you picking up next, Chicken? You getting anything? All my up and coming games now are kind of PS4 only, really, or, or the next couple. You will against my role. Oh no, no they're not. Oh, no, only Destiny's PS4, isn't it? Sorry. I was thinking, uh, Metro, of course it's not. I've just said I've already got it on bloody Steam. Well, I will have when it releases. You're getting paid £11 an hour for answering emails. <laughs> Fucking bargain. <laughs> I'm assuming there's some uh, tech savvy knowledge required in terms of how you respond to the emails. You can't just uh, mass reply cheesecake to them all. Cheesecake? Oh, yes. We have a problem with cheesecake. Would you please help with that cheesecake? Eleven pound an hour, please. <laughs> Cheesecake services are expensive. I'll have you know. 
You haven't got fuck all on PC, BK. Fuck all, mate. You go and you name me one game coming out on PC. Go on. Name one that isn't a janky piece of shit. <laughs> How you doing, mate? You alright? Still recharging. Fuck the PC! PS4 is where it's at for the next month. You should go and treat yourself. The best of both worlds. You can't be a gamer without a blue PS4 or an Xbox One. Go and one of them, mate. You Gabe, you loyalist, you. You're right, Jay King. How you doing, buddy? Hello there, Jay King. Top of the morning to you, sir. Where are we off to? I have no idea. Uh, you do not need to apologise, Rares. Especially not if you're doing homework. <laughs> if you're sitting there picking your nose, you know we, we we might have a bit of a wind here. You know you could at least talk to Chica when she asks you a question. But uh, seeing as you're doing homework, <laughs> we'll give you a free pass on that, mate. What homework are you doing? Is there anything interesting? BK is going to be like Daiku, isn't he? He just uh, can't quite fathom the concept of using a controller. It's far too complicated for them. Die. I need to find myself a really, really good horror film for tonight. Has anyone seen... Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, actually, because I've not seen it spelt. I've just heard people mention it, and I've, I've heard that many people call it different names. I believe it's called Maleficent. And it's got... Um, oh, what's this? Brad Pitt's misses in it. Uh, oh, God, what's the name? Uh, da, 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 Ange Angelina Jolie. I think that's out on uh, Blue Ray or something, isn't it, this week? Or is it already out? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not functioning today. My poor little head. What made you get an Xbox One rather than a PS4, mate? I'm always interested in that question. Or the answer to that question. It's, it normally means people have more friends on Xbox, I tend to find. Oh, BK. BK. That is, uh. Fighting talk, isn't it, mate, attack, eh? We can be certain that Belial's minions do not have the Never mind. We'll, uh, we'll laugh at you when we play The Last of Us on stream in a couple of weeks, and, uh, we'll basically ban you so you can't watch it either. So obviously you've got no interest in such games. Oh, and we'll ban you when we play Destiny as well, yeah? Because obviously you'll have no interest in that either. <laughs> oh, and we'll also ban you when we do uh, the, what's it, the public, the uh, playable teaser from Hideo Kojima, the new Silent Hill. In fact, we'll just fucking ban your scrawny ass. <laughs> oh dear. Hello, Alexin, how you doing, mate? Hello, Benjamin. How you doing, buddy? How are you feeling? Man? I got your fucking shitty cold. I got one. I got one of your uh, your infections, mate. I don't think I've got both of them. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Banning for Destiny is fine. Not interested in exclusive titles. <laughs> what a cop out that is, BK. What a cop out that is. <laughs> Oh dear. Look, BK, you can't afford one. That's all it comes down to. You don't need to pretend, alright? Gabe is not going to ban you from Steam for owning another console or something, mate, you know? He's alright with it. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, I don't know where to go. I'm completely lost. 
Oh, it's the lever I'm supposed to be following. Oh, you dumbass. Ugh. Right in the desert, this is the only thing from keeping me flipping a table. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't seen a new movie in years. You haven't had cable or satellite TV since 2004. And you haven't been to the theatre since 2008. Oh my god, Chunky. No way, mate. Oh, I love my films. I'm not quite such a big movie buff as I used to be. I mean, Ben is a huge movie fan, isn't you, mate? You still are. I kind of... Uh, just time, really. I suppose computer games and streaming and the advent of YouTube is just sort of tuned into my time. I'd be, you know, we still watch a film on a Saturday night. Pretty, pretty much guaranteed, no matter what. So, whereas before it'd be like every couple of nights. Oh. Yay, Ben! That passage should lead awesome to the day. Yay, sands. Ben! What? <laughs> Grim and his scrawny friends. Uh, right, ancient waterway. Hello there! The door hidden behind the waterfall. How imaginative. You would do better. You shall see when we get to my archive. What's that? Multiplayer exclusives. Now, see, this is this just goes to show, BK, you see? You, you're talking to me, but you're not well informed, are you, you see? Typical bloody PC gamer, eh? <laughs> What's that, mate? Really just waiting on Rise and Phantom of the Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it, mate? I, I need a horror film tonight. I really, really want a good horror film. Uncomfortable in here. And my third Chinese of the week. <laughs> Because I've been feeling a bit crappy, but the concept of even going into the kitchen to think about cooking food has gone out of the window. Apple juice. Oh, I don't like apple juice. I, I, uh, I shouldn't say that. I do. I will drink apple juice, and actually, if it's put in front of me, I actually quite like it. But it's not something that I would normally choose to have. I would prefer a cold orange juice than apple juice. We very rarely purchase oh, apple juice in this house. Me. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Covetous Shen. That is a There's two, name. aren't there, Ben? There's the one that I remember, which is the one with Mark Wahlberg, oh, which I uh, found quite interesting, actually. I quite enjoyed it. And then there was the one where they had, I can't remember his name, you know, dating right back to how it all began. With the monkeys, um, or the chimpanzees, should we say, in the is it in the zoo with the test laboratory in the zoo kind of thing? You were foolish what was his name? What was the lead monkey's name? I can't think. So yeah, I always think of the one with the Mark Wahlberg being the first one, which I think is our timeline correct. What's the Steam training card? Steam ain't got games for consoles. What do you mean, BK? What do you mean? Are you getting all confused again, mate? You should come off that PC. Too much Pornhub, mate. Oh, mind you, I think you can probably get Pornhub on the PS4 and the Xbox One these days. Haven't they got quite good internet browsers? <laughs> There's kids all over the world just discovered Pornhub on their PlayStation 4 and now just suddenly realise they don't know how to delete their cookies. <laughs> you, you also haven't had a whole packet of plain sugar. <laughs> what the fuck? I do want Steam cards. I want any Steam cards. I love my Steam cards. I've got that many Steam cards that I've actually now not got time to uh, go through and actually bloody consolidate them into badges. I've got cards coming out of every fucking Steam orifice. <laughs> Some people have been really quite generous. Oh! Okay, get out! Get out! Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> it's because he's not been on for a while. Moobot's catching up a little. It's not my, not my fault. Anyway, uh, BK, if you've got to play the inferior Diablo 3 PC version, I can't help it, mate. I'm still waiting to see a nemesis. Pick it up, pick it up. Best horror film you've seen is Texas Chainsaw Mask. Yeah, I've seen that, mate. I mean, I have any remakes of that bloody thing of the bean. Is it just one or am I thinking? Oh, it's hard to tell. If I had known the crucible would occur, I never would have brought him along. You go on ahead. I'm going back to town. I need to learn this spell. You got two hardcore characters at 40 plus. Cool, man. You and I are the same. But those others, the fallen angel, the witch, they're using you for their own ends. You choose to be their puppet. Yet, the power of your birthright could make you a god. Striving for godhood got your head separated from your body, cool. <laughs> no I oh, love that. <laughs> enough, I'll walk this world again. You sarky then barbarian, you. What a Nephilim can achieve. Yeah, you, you, you just stay over in your hardcore, inferior, always on DRM PC version, Ben, where you belong, mate. As long as you're after. Come to me when you got a level 70 with cool gear and he dies. I'll, I'll console you, mate. I'll give you a little cuddle. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> just bought a ticket just in case. <laughs> there is no giveaway on at the minute, Elixir, you cheeky little monkey. Oh, what's this? Oh, hey, oh. Yeah. A new house to pay for, mate. Time. Always on isn't a problem. You're full of shit, BK. Try playing a whirlwind barbarian, mate, and then come and talk to me. Fucking janky ass game. And more rubber banding in fucking Diablo than a bloody plastic factory, mate. Not ready yet. Must be if I was going to go hardcore, which I will with the Crusader, then I, I have to say I'm going to look forward to being able to do that on the console without that always on restrictive fucking shenanigans. In here, I can feel What's that, Grum? You should go I watch my death highlight from last night's stream. Oh, what level were you, Chica? Did it all go horribly wrong, mate? Did Ben leave you in the lurch, or was it, uh, was it your own fault? <laughs> I ran around trying to dodge the spitters, and every single one hit me. I think. <laughs> I really do need to turn the difficulty up, but I feel so shit, I don't think I can actually handle dying at the minute. <laughs> this is going to take a very steady plod through to 60 today. Oh, Jesus. Your connection sucks if... Oh, God, 48 months. My connection sucks if you're using picture, chat and audio all at once. Audio plus chat equals no lag and a happy looks. Uh, right. This was some kind of well, I've sorted my internet is now well and truly absolutely sorted, so uh, hopefully I can watch Chickas and Freddy's stream without any problems as well now. I oh, know I did jump on, oh god, was it yesterday, Chick? I can't remember what time though, it certainly wasn't during anything exciting in terms of a death. Um, but I'd 
I did notice that you dropped it to 720. And uh, it was playing a shitload better. Shitload smoother anyway. But my internet is now sorted, so to be honest. It's, it, I wouldn't have noticed it before, Chica. Anyway, but obviously bearing in mind that obviously I've got not the best internet. It just goes to show how it can affect people. Not ready yet. Yeah, yeah, I will, Chica. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> they survive. <laughs> I bet there was some screaming, weren't there? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> it was Ben's fault. <laughs> Why does this uh, not surprise me, Chica? The fact that you're saying it was Ben's fault is what surprise is not surprising. <laughs> Blame Ben. So you've not found any awesome new game to play then, Chicken, eh? I will not Ish, bash, bash, destroy you all! This place must have belonged to Zotan Kuhn. <laughs> ben was <died>. muted. <laughs> Seems an adequate reflection of his character. Well, were you accidentally muted then, man? Did you not realise you were on mute? <laughs> or did, or are you implying that Chicken just simply muted you? <laughs> For letting her die. Need more time. Yeah, to be honest, Chicken, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Destiny. I've got to admit, I mean, I, I desperately need, hopefully, a game where we can get in a clan or something. Get the blood of Zoltan killed from the cave of the betrayal. This is the vault of the assassin, isn't it? So, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. PK, what's going on here, mate? You know this game. Get the blood of Zoltan killed from the cave of the betrayal. This is the vault of the assassin, so I'm not actually supposed to be in there. Ugh. What's your next big game in terms of release calendar then, Chica? What's coming out first that you're uh, looking forward to? I'll have to come and watch you all play H1Z1. Because I, I'm, like I said, I'm just refusing to play early access. So it'll be interesting to come and watch rather than play. And then what I'll do, I'll probably pick that up when they finally release it. Because it'll be free to play, won't it? Just goes. It's, it's, this is my argument, though. I was speaking. Who was I speaking to the other day? Was it you, Chunker? I mean, the fucking game is going to be free to play, and it's going to cost you twenty dollars to play in the fucking beta. It's just the whole PC gaming scene is just bullshit at the minute. Fee fi fo fum. Oh, that is nice coffee. How's your coffee going, Ben? You found any new ones yet, mate? Ben, I'm impressed, mate. I'm very impressed, dude. In fact, that is worthy of some grum bombs. That is, mate. That that is worthy of some grum bombs. If I can, if I actually remembered how the fuck to do grum bombs, I would give you some, mate. <laughs> In fact, no, I tell you what, yeah, let me just let me have a go. There you go, mate. There you go, buddy. That that is for an, an epic win. I, I can visualize your uh, rampant screaming shenanigans around the map with a grand finale resulting in Chicka's death. Excellent sunshine. Excellent. <laughs> the next time you do that, give me a heads up so I can come and watch.
<laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Short and sweet, chicka. Short and sweet. <laughs> That's what I say about bed. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Oh, that's it. I've got all... Got snot running into the grum goatee here again. <laughs> oh. What's that little spiral over there, Ed? That's new to the UEE. That must be the stunner. Uh, stun symbol or something, must not it? Army. I should have listened. Sorry, I'm tr I am really trying not to sniff, but... I, don't know I can't help it. To survive. Maybe we're not. It's so beautiful here. Maybe if I hid in the trees. Why is it referring to your gone? height, mate? Works very well in the past, doesn't it? I must admit. <laughs> if in doubt, leg it. Where possible, hamstring chicka. <laughs> I, I could actually hear in my own head chicka's cries of frustration there, Ben. Heldium, a city of mercy and salvation. But we have not yet been able to convince the emperors oh, to change the ancient me. policy of exile. Prisoners We've been in there. Of treason are still oh. sent to the desert to, that. to die with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Well, at the moment, game-wise, obviously this is going to be sort of like my go-to in-between game there, rather than playing it on the PC, so... And there's plenty of them, you know, I'm not going to worry about trying to race through content in this, this is just going to be... I'm just going to constantly tick away at this. And, um... I'll probably pick up... I've got Metro Redux on Steam, but I think what I'll do is I'll pick it up on the PlayStation 4. I've not played a sort of first per. Oh yes, Alejandro! Ding a ding! Um, just to go. Yeah, I've not played a first person sort of shit on uh, PlayStation Four since bloody Killzone. So, what was it about? Was it about? Shit, to wash. 207 strength, 188 vitality, so that's not bad at all. Increases duration of ignore pain, 15% bash damage, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have to have oh, God! Damn it, I got to have a real think about it. Uh, some builds here. I think I've had the same build, seriously, since level 42 ish. Possibly even earlier than that. <laughs> Still recharging. <laughs> if you want to just see you run by the bottom. <laughs> Did you do a little drive-by at the bottom bed go, Whee! <laughs> oh dear. Everyone's a goddamn mob these days, Elixir. Yeah, so after Metro, 
because I've still never finished Metro 2033 because the goddamn janky shitty PC version destroyed my bloody save game. So I think I'll pick it up on the PS4 and what I'll do is play the PC Steam version which I rather stupidly pre-ordered so I've already spent the cash on that. Um, when I get my new rig. I will not be denied. And then after that is Destiny. And then we kind of go into the realms of all the Ubisoft games. You know, we've got Far Cry, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. We've got that. It's not Ubisoft, but ex Ubisoft dev, isn't it? Um, doing the Shadows of Mordor game, which looks really interesting. They've got some fantastic game sort of play mechanics in there. Really hoping it lives up to uh, what what are my own expectations it is on the hype train factor it's pretty high what else is coming out um project cars oh drive club now that looks absolutely stunning i'm really looking forward to that i'm absolutely distraught my g27 steering wheel and all my funky wheel stand pro shit and all the rest of it is not going to work on the PlayStation 4, man. Apparently, the PlayStation 4 requires some sort of digital authentication, stroke security, something, which isn't going to be compatible with the G27. So that means if I want to use a bloody steering wheel for my goddamn PlayStation 4, I'm going to have to go out and buy a bloody Thrustmaster or fucking some, and they ain't cheap, man. You see, your problem is, BK, is I'm sitting here chuckling because I've got all of it and you've just got the PC, mate. So, unfortunately, the saltiness is going to have to be at your end, mate. Now, you know, you'll, you'll learn. And when you do get a PS4, mate, or an Xbox, you know, we'll revisit the convo, mate. And you'll go, yeah. Fair point. <laughs> oh, I, I, listen, I am really looking forward to Far Cry 4. I think that'll be an amazing game. I just hope... I, again, I'm really reluctant to get it on the PC. I mean, played uh, Watch Dogs and how shit that was when it first released, which was an Ubisoft game. I, I have a feeling what I'll probably do this time around is buy it on the PlayStation 4. Um, and then maybe pick it up cheap when they do like the game of the year edition on PC by which time hopefully you know drivers and tweaks and patches have come through I, I'll be honest I, I really think at the moment Ubisoft have blown it with me I had some problems with Assassin's Creed 4 um, did you hear about the fix for that? with, with the V-Sync issues on a uh, Assassin's Creed 4, the only way to resolve it was to control alt delete bring up the task manager then close the task manager alt tab back into the game and hey presto it worked like flawlessly as long as you do that at the start of the game you are guaranteed super super smooth frame rates and uh, what's, what's amazed me is the amount of forums that I've gone to I, I, you know because obviously the game's quite old now so been, been at loads of forums over the sort of three, four months after it came out, and very few people had been informed of the fix. And it was such a simple one. But again, if you didn't know it, there was no way to fix the goddamn game. And then, of course, you've got the bloody watchdogs, which is a disaster. That was awful. That ruined. I was so hyped for watchdogs. So hyped. I mean, I was like, I bought the Dead Sec Edition on PlayStation 4. I bought the Steam version, which I very rarely do, but top, you know, top, top dollar. Um, I was that pumped for it. I really thought Ubisoft got a fantastic new IP. And they really let me down, man. Well, they let PC gamers down. 
So I don't think I'll be buying Far Cry 4 on the PC. I think I'll get it on the PlayStation 4. And then, you know, play the game and enjoy it, and it, it because it'll work on the PlayStation 4. And then play it in all its super duper funky tessellation glory on the PC when the game of the year edition is sort of out for cheap. And I think that's what I might start doing more of, to be honest. I mean, let's be honest. The big AAA titles, you know, their preferred and, you know, lead platform is going to be the PlayStation 4 now, isn't it? Uh, what's that, mate? It's the same. Oh, I've not heard. Yeah, the crew. I've not heard so much about that, mate. What? What, what is it? I don't. Is that not the racing game that everyone's a little bit unsure about? Like I keep hearing different things about. Hang on, I'm sorry. Let me just scroll up a sec. Sorry, my chat just stalled again. What's up? What are you QQing for, Alexin? Um, what comes that? Drive Club, Tenth Box. So what? Oh, I'm confused now, Ben. Sorry, mate. The crew comes out October 10th. You get a used PS4 when people are selling them to finance their PS5. Yeah, well, I'm, what I'm really hoping, Chunky, is that the PlayStation 4... I mean, you know what? With Microsoft's almighty fuck-up with the Xbox One from day one, <laughs> I actually think Xbox are going to be seriously looking at releasing a new console a lot earlier than they even they thought. So I think these consoles are only really going to be around for about five years before we hear rumours of the next one, mate. We're definitely not going to be looking at another ten years. No way. I think Xbox know they fucked up hardware-wise. So I think they will be pushing a connectless Xbox 2 very, very soon. And by very soon, I think maybe three years tops before we hear rumours and then maybe another 18 months before we sort of uh, actually see the unit. So I, I reckon five years is looking quite likely. I think it's the only way Microsoft, if they are seriously considering staying in the console business, which let's face it they are I think. Although not if their uh, shareholders have anything to do with it or stakeholders. Yeah, N64, awesome mate. Fantastic console. You haven't had a console since the Atari in the early 80s. Why would I suddenly get a PS4 or a 60 PC? I should stop this one. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. I just think you're missing out, BK. If you've not owned a console since then, my God, you would have an epic time playing all the old bloody PlayStation games, mate. Jesus, good Lord. I'm quite envious of you being in that position. Wow. God, some of my, well, my best memories gaming-wise. I like, you know, when you're very young and that game really meant something because they were so expensive and, you know, you'd be lucky to get a bloody cartridge once every three months or something. And, you know, you'd read the gaming magazines and how often back then was your purchase of a game based solely on what the box looked like? <laughs> you know, if, if the marketing did a good job, the game would sell. Whereas now, you know, with bloody Twitch and YouTube and... All the review sites, Someone you know, literally at a click of a button. You already know if the game's going to be up your street way before it even hits the store shelves, don't you? I remember buying some games and, you know, it was like, a man, you know, you saved up your pocket money. <laughs> all your mates had chipped into it and you'd all go to the shops together and you'd come home and you'd ram that cartridge in and the game would boot off in those first, like, 30 seconds. You all knew if it was going to be a sack of donkey shite or, like, gaming Nirvana at its finest. <laughs> oh, dear, they were the good days, man. The Donkey Kong DS from the time when you buy a DS and it's got a singular... Oh, you mean a Game & Watch, not DS, mate. I collect those, dude. Yeah, Game & Watch. Absolutely. They're, some of those are worth a few quid, they are, mate, if you've still got them. Don't know what a Donkey Kong one's worth. Was that the orange one? The split screen? Or did Donkey Kong also do a try screen? One of the first try screen Game & Watches? Do you know what these bones are? Xbox can go bankrupt. Microsoft computers can skyrocket for all I care, but I would love to burn the Xboxes. 
<laughs> That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Let's <laughs> car crawl. Until none were left. <laughs> See you later, Elixir. Right, let's crack on. God, you must have a... Yeah, God, God, the games, you can't have played them, BK. Jesus, good Lord, mate. That's quite frightening. And the, and the other thing is, you could play them all for so cheap now as well, couldn't you? I mean, I, I was exclusively kind of PC gaming for many years, BK. Um, and then I went to consoles for many years and then came back to PC gaming. And I think I've now found, hopefully, a happy medium. Remember, my first sort of 12 months of getting back to PC gaming, I didn't touch my console. I mean, back then it was obviously only the PS3 and Xbox anyway, Xbox 360, but uh, I saw no reason to play them, really. There was not really any exclusives other than um, the Uncharted series that kind of came out in that period. I think Uncharted 3 and The Last of Us, uh, Gran Turismo. I can't think of anything else I actually went back and booted the PS3 up for. <laughs> Welcome back, Elixir. You cannot stand before me. He's a tough little son of a bitch, yeah. Go on, you immune sod. Oh, blow, it's taking me forever to get through here. What's going on? Die, scum! Oh, right. We're three. I don't know what happened there. I felt like I just everything just suddenly came to a sort of a bit of a grinding. Oh, I need more mobs. We need a high mob density in this area. Oh, I got. I'm gonna. S oh, oh. Oh, Jesus, good lord! Sorry, folks. That's a mute out there. Big sneeze. Oh dear. Oh, blimey. Oh. Everyone's quiet, I think, Elixir. Oh, God. Sorry, folks. I like listening to people sneezing and sniffling, but... Uh... Sod's law with a bank holiday weekend, didn't it? We've got loads we've got planned for this weekend, and, of course, uh, I'm going to feel a lot of crap for most of it. Sod's bloody law. I think the weather's supposed to be a bit crappy as well. Everyone's just basking in the stream gloriness, aren't they, chicka? <laughs> Are you getting a... Uh... Far uh, Cry or anything like that, Chica? Any of the Assassin's Creed games, any of those like, big releases this year, or are you uh, sticking with kind of the more offbeat indie kind of games? I've still not heard anything about Don't Starve, the multiplayer coming out. Not ready yet. Oh, God. What are you eating, chicka? You got anything nice? I, I went for a bit of a wild one at the Chinese yesterday because I was feeling a bit funny. I had uh, a mixed curry with a special fried rice, but I've got to admit, um, it weren't quite up to the standards of my roast duck chow mein that I did here. You know what I really fancy tonight? It's a really, really hot, spicy curry. 
It's time. quite good for you when you got cold as well, aren't they? You my Might see if a girlfriend fancies a bit of a hot and spicy. Yeah, is, I mean, is there anything that's kind of even on the horizon other than H1Z1, though? Well, I did see a game that I thought you might quite, quite like. Yesterday, um, oh, God, Chico, I've forgotten the bloody name. It's got a really strange name. Something, is it something to do with Ethan? The, the, mis the disappearant, disappearance of Ethan, someone or another? I thought that might be quite up your uh, street, Chico. It's like, um... I don't know if it's actually a horror game, although I'm assuming it is. Uh, kind of quite story driven. A teaspoon of Nutella. Ooh, very nice. Spicy noodles, yeah, that sounds nice. I love spicy feed. Well, that's pretty much all we have. I mean, I know Chinese isn't that spicy, but uh, well, certainly not what I have. But I do. We have some really nice uh, piri piri chicken. Very tasty. Oh, still recharging. See, that's what I like. Well, you know when you're wading through mobs like that? It's bloody awesome when, it, when you end up with a nice thick mob pack. You know what? I've been having the itch to go back this week. Oh, I couldn't believe it, especially with everything else coming out. It was wow. I was like, oh, God, I've got to go back and play wow. <laughs> it, it almost it just came out of like, completely nowhere. I don't know what I was doing at the time, but whatever it was, I shouldn't have been thinking about gaming. And all of a sudden, I thought, bang, wow. <laughs> I was like, oh god, and that's all I can think about for about two or three hours, and then all that evening as well. I was like, ah, oh, I must go back and play WoW. Yeah, oh god, yeah, definitely. I miss that game. I was reading an interesting thread, I think it was on NeoGAF, it might have been somewhere else though. Uh, with someone saying, recommend me an MMO. And uh, there was some really good discussion, and you know, the, the big contenders, you know, like Guild Wars 2 were in there. Um, so, you know, people suggesting some of the, the lesser known free to play stuff, and uh, yeah, it was quite interesting the way it all worked because someone put up a post about wow, it was instantly met with kind of a lot of derision and all the rest of it. And then the, the whole thread almost, it's as if you could imagine everyone was sitting there, sort of like tapping their. Uh, I can't finger on their else. chin and so they thought actually you know what thinking about it <laughs> it was always like a group opinion suddenly appeared out of nowhere I was like actually now I come to think of it if, if you were actually really thinking about getting into an MMO right now wow is probably not a bad choice at all there's that much content in that game isn't there and it's become so polished I mean, so sickeningly polished. I mean, it really is just flawless. Oh God, look, I've got another one of those. Where the hell did that come from? Oh, <laughs> that's repair menu, you dumbass. Ah, oh, I always press the wrong button, look. Right, let's have a look what we've got. Have we got anything new? No, no. Well, that looks quite nice. 183 strength, 182 vitality, 9% fire skill damage. Maybe we can go for a fire earthquake build. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, if you put an ice block on your arm and cover it in salt, it burns your skin off, leaving a permanent scar. What the fuck? You saw it on the internet. It must be true. <laughs> <laughs> that's bizarre. Well, there's one not to try at home, kids. Uh, let me just check some. Sorry. Oh. So I was waiting for an email to come through. I just need to see if. Uh... Oh, have a quick check. No, you're all right. Okay, don't worry. Uh, right, let's come back to this. 
Oh, oh steady on, steady on. Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. Seismic slab. See what we we could maybe go with. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to go for. Maybe a hammer of the ancients, fire kind of build. Maybe stick frenzy in. Let's have a look what we've got here. Oh, what was that? Two two three strength converts two point four percent damage dealt to life. That is kind of nice, but uh, two oh, twenty two percent critical hit damage. Fuck okay. There's some, I'll tell you what, some amazing gear in the game, isn't there? It's really, I sometimes find it really hard to sort of get my head around the pros and cons of switching stuff out. Oh, are you back on Skyrim, are you? Right, your asshole, excuse me. What's that, Chickabo? Did this talk about a wow I about to have and slip? What the fuck? <laughs> have you lost the ability to type, Chicka? <laughs> <laughs> we, we all want to know who it is you've promised that you can't go back to WoW for, Chica. Did you uh, make a pact with the devil, did you? See, if you can do what I'm doing, Chica, it's not a problem. Just go back to it, you know, maybe sum up for a month and, uh, you know, play it. Then take a break, play some other games, and that's what I'm doing, you see. I'm not going to go back to WoW like I did when I first played it. You know, just that was the only game I played. But I saved so much money. So much money. That 9.99, I think cause it's 8.99, it's going up to 9.99, isn't it? Um, yeah, I honestly, when I play WoW, I literally don't spend a goddamn penny on anything else in terms of gaming. You know, you don't need a powerful system to run it. You don't need any of the games. You've just got to control it. You've got to keep the game under control. And it's kind of nice in a way as well. If you if you just play it for like the one month and then know that that's going to be the end of it. Um, sometimes you find that a few games dropped in price when you go back. And I do, I love WoW, you know, I'm not gonna not gonna pretend that I uh, think anything about the game is bad, I, I think it's wonderful. Get the blood of Zoltan Kyrl from the cave of the Betrayer. Okay. You'll tell your soul for a description. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see the new character models in action as well. I'd love to know what Blizzard have got up their sleeve. Because, I mean, a company like that, obviously, you know, they they must be working on... I mean, with, there was... What was it called? It was codenamed Titan, wasn't it? Their MMO. That they were going to uh, have as their sort of sequel to... Well, not, not sequel, but... Their next MMO. I mean, no one knows whether or not it had anything to do with the Warcraft universe or anything. I should imagine probably not. But it was Codename kind of Titan, wasn't it? And was it about six to twelve months ago? During one of their stakeholder conference meetings, the shareholders meetings, whatever it was, they basically announced that they'd scrapped it, hadn't they? They were going back to the drawing board. Not only a company like Blizzard could possibly have got away with something like that, because the sheer investment up to that point, I should imagine, with, with a company like Blizzard was absolutely phenomenal. So it would be absolutely awesome to know what they've got up their sleeve. I mean, are they working on another expansion for Diablo 3? I mean, I think they are going to find the sales for the Ultimate Evil Edition are fucking insane.
absolutely insane. Just the sheer amount of PC gamers that are double dipping. Let alone the PlayStation 4 players who have never goddamn played a Diablo game in their life. Or possibly Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. You know, it's... It, oh god, the, the, the source of revenue for them must be phenomenal, it really must. <laughs> you dare not draw from. <laughs> I wonder how Five's doing with his little monster. Hope all is well. I can drop him a message actually. Are you uh, are you an artist then, by any chance, Elixir? Have you got skills, mate? See you later, Ben. Look after yourself. I hope you're feeling all right now, dude. Later's check up. Later's. Oh, I just picked up a blue. Whoa! Right, let's crack on. Where shall we go? Since we are going to do this, let's send. My archives are at the northern tip of the desolate sands. Ah, thank you. Jay Zoltan. find my body and the Black Soul Stone. I'm not paying any attention to the game whatsoever, just because I'm enjoying just seeing it all in its uh, 1080p glory at long last. And I've had like, a whole week playing that bloody PlayStation 3 version, which I've got to admit, at the time, didn't bother me at all. It's amazing how quickly you do adjust to it. But this is just phenomenal. It is playing like playing the PC version, just with a controller. It's just awesome. Feels so right. Who would be interested in watching me stream the? Uh, what was it called? I keep forgetting the name. I know it's PT. Um, Playable teaser of Silent Hill. Not sure it's such a good idea when I'm feeling bad. <laughs> Could be too much, uh, too much strain. <laughs> Could tip me over the edge. I think that he is dead, Jim. <laughs> I was going to save it for tomorrow night, but. Uh, this place like an ominous shroud. Here is the entrance to my archive. I might hit it up tonight. You can't draw for shit. <laughs> I had to build all of this for my Yeah, I think I might, I might give it a go. I'm not sure. I'm, I genuinely don't know if I can play it, Ray right? It does look absolutely terrifying. I've watched like probably less than. Uh, maybe about three minutes worth of footage. I keep sort of saying I'm not going to watch anything, then I, I take a sneak peek, and it. Oh God. Blah gum. Statues of Cool's guardians. Beyond these portals. Which one? This one. Chunky bits can be a biscuit. <laughs> Makes sense, why not? It can be a network Angels biscuit. Are no better than demons. Did you know that they once voted on whether or not to eliminate all the Oh Jesus, let's see them the there. Yeah, I must admit, Chunky was definitely right about sound. It's a lot better like this. It was a little bit overwhelming at the start of the session. Got to admit that. You don't want it too bloody loud, do you? Well, I certainly don't. My head's like screaming at me as it is. I really don't know whether to go for um, like a Frenzy Hammer of the Ancients build. Could be quite good fun there. Look at these little bastards. 
Not ready yet. Haha! -ha, you missed me! Be gone. <laughs> Good luck drawing that one, Alexi. Good luck, mate. <laughs> you might need some actual skills to do that one. Or at the very least a text explanation underneath your uh, scribble, perhaps. Oh, come on, quick with the arcane, guys. You know that's just cheating. An almighty all sneeze is on its way. And ushered in a golden age. But my Herodric brothers could not accept man's true destiny. It will just keep going. We sort of found that quite quickly that time, didn't we? Normally I like to clear a whole area out, but um... Oh, sorry, middle one. We need to fight everyone, don't we? What's the next game you're going to buy, Alexin? I like that, uh, you, you know, being able to quickly drop stuff. That's uh, very nice, little, very neat, sorry, little addition to the user interface, isn't it? I mean, it was there on the PS3 version as well. I do not like being in there, so bad. Just lead them out a bit. Nice. Little Big Planet. Oh, do you like Little Big Planet? Listen, I've never, um, never really got into it, mate. I think I got the Vita version for free as part of Sony's Instant Game Collection, and um, even even then, I, I, you know, I thought that'd be an, an absolutely fantastic game to play. In, am I right? Hmm, I've got me wondering now actually, you know. I'm sure I got it free. I'm not sure whether I actually own it on card or not. I've obviously got Little Big Planet 3, I'm talking about Little Big Planet 2, but um Got me wondering there. Really got me wondering. But anyway, I always kinda of thought uh, I don't know whether it was the the physics in the game. Or, I don't know, there was something about it that just felt off. I don't know. You, you know, normally those kind of games, you know, they're not exactly top of my list of things to play anyway. But, I mean, like, we bought on the Wii U, Super Mario Brothers, uh, U or whatever the hell it's bloody called. And I've got to admit, I've had a little bit of fun buggering about on that. But, Little Big Planet, even the first one, which was raved about, wasn't it? Um, just, I don't know, it just never clicked for me. Saw some absolutely awesome levels made. I mean, I thought that was quite uh, an intriguing element of it. You know, if I had got into it, the fact that you could create your own levels and such diversity as well that's sort of given to you within the uh, construction tools themselves. But no, n never, never really pushed my buttons. 
Well, you must be living it up then on these new consoles, mate. I mean, bloody hell. We've got Infamous 4, which... Oh, that game. Wow. Once we know the release date for that, I seriously am booking a whole week of just everything in the diary is getting cleared. Everything. Oh, I'm going to book a whole week of nothing but Uncharted gloriness. Starting with maybe rerunning through Uncharted 2 a couple of days beforehand. I still think that's probably my favourite. I, I mean, I enjoyed Uncharted 3. It's just, I don't know, it didn't see... Uncharted 2, to me, was a, an absolutely just flawless journey. A, a genuinely epic adventure. I loved everything about that game. And Uncharted 3, as much as I felt, looking back on it, that I most definitely and emphatically enjoyed the game. No doubt about it. It didn't seem to... It, I didn't have the memories of perfection that I had with Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 was a never-ending kind of journey of wonder and amazement and oh my god moments and yeah Uncharted 3 just didn't do it in the same way for me and I, I, you know I don't know what magic Uncharted 2 had I think personally it was pacing I think the actual way that the locales worked the pacing of the game uh, you know, I don't think it's something you can really quantify. It either happens or it doesn't. End times are upon us. But do you truly believe that Belial and Asmodan could have engineered these events? They are the last living lords of hell. What? Sorry, I, was, I couldn't remember. Uh, if we got any interesting dialogue from old uh, Zultan there. So yes, Uncharted 4, my god. Uh, just, uh, oh god, just think what, uh, Naughty Dog, uh, by far, Naughty Dog and Blizzard. Blizzard, as much as I love what they do, and I love the degree of polish they bring to their games, um, I don't have the same amount of respect for them as I do Naughty Dog, in the sense that there's still stuff that Blizzard have done that really pisses me off. Little things like screwing me over that subscription on WoW. You know, they're almost too big for their own bloody good. The always on fiasco era 37s with Diablo on the PC version, or all, all that. I still haven't forgiven them for not giving me my... I bought the Reaper of Souls Collector's Edition, which is a lovely Collector's Edition by the way, because you can pick it up really cheap now. They were obviously massively over manufactured. And you you got some freebie gifts, and they were time limited. You had to put your code in within, I think, a month or however many weeks it was. And uh, me being an idiot, or well, in, in fact, actually, no, I shouldn't say that because they never fucking said on the box that it was time limited. Need more time. But me, basically, I think I was playing, I don't know, Seven Days of Dark something at the time, so of course I didn't have an opportunity to install Reaper of Souls or upgrade my Blizzard Battlenet account and all the rest of it. So of course when I finally did get around to doing it, I didn't get any of the bloody pre-order bonuses. I was fucking fuming! Absolutely fuming! <laughs> so I contacted Blizzard about it and they basically liked the subscription issue, said, fuck you, we don't give a flying toss. You're not having it. And I just thought, nah, that's that's just shitty, man. You know, I paid for that content. I mean, it's nothing. Don't get me wrong. But I'm like that. I, I am very stubborn. If I pay for something, I fucking expect to get it. You know, as I'm sure most people are. <laughs> I can't imagine I'm unique in the world. <laughs> expecting that much out of uh, a transaction. But yeah, they... Fucking arseholes Blizzard are at times. But anyway, going back to my point, they still create absolutely wonderful games. And uh, But Naughty Dog, wow. What they achieved on the PlayStation 3, just absolutely breathtaking, it really was. Hello, Phoenix, how you doing, buddy? They, they wouldn't even engage in communication with me after the first little bout of chat, Phoenix. Um, it's just something you can't do. 
It, it wasn't anything major. It was um, like a. I think you had. I don't know. It might have been a pet or some bloody crappy wings or something like that. I don't know. It's like you know, like I've got the angelic wings here. I think you've got something like that on Reaper of Souls, like the shitty. They weren't the white ones you got with the original collector's edition. They were the sort of crappy red ones, I think. Um, but the point is, <laughs> and my point stands, I bought the bloody collector's edition to get that digital content. And because I didn't put my code in within X number of days, I couldn't get it. What the fuck is that all about? I searched and searched the back of my box, my collector's edition box, and there is nothing on there that says you have to put your code in within a certain amount of time. But Blizzard, not interested. Not interested. In the slightest. And why would they be? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> How many subscriptions they currently got with WoW? I've got, is it still 7 plus million active subscriptions? I don't think they're short of a quid or two, are they? You like the infamous girl, do you, Axel? Yeah, I know, Infamous Second Son was an absolutely excellent game. Really, I've, I mean, I've always been very vocal about how fantastic the whole Infamous series is. I had a lot of friends and, and my family were all big Xbox players. They really only started, well, they only picked up a PS3 very late in that console's life and really only played things like Uncharted, to be honest. And, uh, no, I, I can never convince them to give Uncharted a go. I, re I remember, uh, to this day, right, one of the, there's very little DLC out there that I've ever bought, because I don't buy a lot of DLC. But uh, there's very little DLC, DLC that I've ever bought that I genuinely thought, wow, you know what I mean? That is not only worth the price of admission, but I would have been more than happy to pay more. And to this day, the only one that stands out is the... I can't remember what it's called. The infamous, the infamous Choose Vampire, if you like, DLC. Oh my god. God, I actually think I enjoyed that more than the main game. It was absolutely brilliant. Utterly excellent. Oh, and the other one, of course. Now that I'm thinking, because I knew that it was really bugging me then, because I knew there's, there's two that. The, the one that is, takes the prize for best DLC of any game of all time across any platform is Red Dead Redemption's Zombie Nightmare, whatever the hell it's called. That was absolutely fucking storming, that was. Oh my god. Not only brilliantly done in, in such a fun way, but still kind of loyal to the original game. So much content, so much fun so cleverly kind of incorporate into the existing gameplay mechanics. Oh, hang on one sec. Get back.
energy swirling throughout these chambers could corrupt the soul forever. I imagined that the hero of prophecy would be more like Right, sorry about that folks, I uh, have to take a wee phone call. All is good, all is good. Infamous is your open world. Yeah, um, there's something, again, you know, we were sort of talking about that, uh, I suppose it's the secret source element that people talk about, isn't it? Um, that, that secret ingredient that you can't quite put your finger on. But uh, having played, say for example, Watch Dogs, uh, you know, a, a fantastic resolution, fantastic frame right now, they fixed the bloody game on PC. You know, from a visual perspective um, and general 
kind of overall quality in terms of visuals, the game looks fantastic. And you know, you compare that to like the PlayStation 3 version of Grand Theft Auto 4. Sorry, 5? What was the new one? 5, wasn't it? It's, uh, you know, complete polar opposites, you know. It's a shitty frame rate on the PlayStation 3, you know, it's not the best, well, far from the best resolution, but it still looks bloody good, you know, considering the hardware. When you actually look at gameplay, when you look at how you interact with the city and the way the city kind of evolves around you, Grand Theft Auto is like just 